All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We're out here in Hyde Park Village here in Tampa, Florida. And this is kind of like a more upscale place. You'll see a lot of uh, Chica Squapas walking around in this area. But today we're out here talking about the Donald Trump indictments and the arrests. Third time already he's been arrested. We all know it's political persecution. And according to polling data, every time Trump gets indicted, his polling numbers go through the roof. A lot of polls have him neck and neck with Joe Biden, with some polls having him actually beating Joe Biden, which really shouldn't surprise us because we know who the real good guy is. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell to get notified. And if you want to support my journey against kidney failure, please donate to my Give, Send, Go, which will be the first link down in the description. Uh, obviously, I'm going through a lot of health problems right now, but I still try to hit the streets a couple times a week to fight for the future of America, protect our Constitution, and of course, get Trump back in office. So as you know, Donald Trump's been arrested for the third time this week. Oh, he did? He's oh. been indicted okay. down in D.C. for his accusations that the 2020 election was stolen and rigged. Oh, okay. okay. And they're trying to charge him saying that he know he knew it wasn't, okay. but he lied to the people. Mm. So what does that make you feel, the fact that our former president has been indicted three different times already in the past couple of months? Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about politics. Well, you guys are Gen Z, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm trying to get Gen Z's opinions today. Oh, so even no. if even if you don't feel like you're that informed, just think about that. A former president yeah, arrested, I mean, indicted three times. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's bad, I feel but like... like it's it's hurtful. I feel like it hurts to people. Yeah. Right? It yeah, feels a little yeah, betraying yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So, um, little bit. Something feels like off about it, right? Yeah. I mean, some some might be hurt, some might yeah. not. So it's like all over the place. Would you vote for Trump or Biden if you could? <laughs> I probably just wouldn't vote because yeah. I don't really I don't care. I don't really know <laughs> yet. I don't really. I, I feel like I would definitely do a lot more research about it and then I would vote. That's what a very good response. Do? What would you do? Check the back of my hat. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, Great. I'm, I'm, I'm on the Trump train. Oh yeah, yeah, fully would, on board. I would do some research and then I would, you know, think about it and then awesome. vote. Yeah. So, hey, I yeah. respect that. Just don't yeah. vote blindly. Yeah. Do your research. That's what you got to learn, guys. Learn. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research. Donald Trump's been arrested for the third time <laughs> this week. <laughs> Our former president. Okay. So my question is, does that make you more or less want to vote for Trump in the next election? I don't vote. You didn't vote? No. Are you registered to vote, though? Yes. Okay. What's your reason for not wanting to vote? Um, I don't know enough about it. Okay. I respect that. I think uninformed people should stay out of the poll on Election Day. And what's your opinion on it? Um, I'm pro-Trump. Uh, I, I like what he has to say. Obviously, there's things that I disagree with. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say that to everybody. But uh, I would say I don't know the, the whole story about why he was getting charged. I'm pretty sure they dropped the charges, am I right? No, they're, they're, these are going in full force. Really? The charge yesterday, or a couple days ago, was that they believe that he's lying about the election being stolen, but he knowingly lied to the American people in order to cause January 6th. Okay. That's one of the charges. So they're gonna have to prove he had malicious intent. So how are him and Biden tied for the 2024 election. So based on polling data, Trump is tied to Biden and in some cases actually winning. So all these arrests are actually backfiring because the more they arrest Trump, the stronger his polling number gets because the average American person kind of looks at it as political persecution, okay. targeting of a political opponent. So this is actually helping Donald Trump's campaign. Mm -hmm. So if the election were today, Trump versus Biden, who would you vote for? Oh, I'm Trump. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I really, I'm not, going to get too deep into it. I really don't know how people are voting for Biden. Yep. That's just honesty. Um, Respect. Look at the, how the world's turning out. I yep. mean, Trump had an alliance with huge leaders in the world, yep. and uh, that kind of got crushed as soon as he got out of office. So, Now, to further earn your boyfriend's love, this is a boyfriend? Yes. Would you vote for Trump in solidarity? Uh, I mean, to earn the boyfriend's love and possible hand in marriage, would you vote for Trump? <laughs> <laughs> um... I would definitely vote for Trump over Biden. Yes. Oh, that's all I need to hear. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You have a good hey, my name is uh, Adam Francisco. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah on, TikTok. on TikTok, YouTube. Adam that's Francisco. just my name, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I was on Fox News a couple of uh, weeks ago. Oh, cool. I went viral, so they kind of featured one of my, my videos. Yeah. What's your TikTok? Adam Francisco. Adam, that's my name. I'll look you up. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. So as you know, Donald Trump's been arrested for the third time this week. This time for what he said about the election, that it was stolen and rigged. And they believe that he had malicious intent behind it. That in his heart he knew it was not stolen, but that he lied to the American people. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about the whole situation? It's long overdue. I'm from New York. You too. I've known him for a long time, and he's always been just under the radar. 
and he's on the radar now. So. Now, a lot of Americans are saying that the timing is suspicious of all of these arrests when, for example, the Stormy Daniels happened in 2006, but they're trying to charge him in 2023, mm -hmm. the year within the election year. And now with January tw uh, 6th, instead of charging him in 2020, one, they're charging him in 2023, a year within the election. Do you think there's something to be said for the timing? Yeah, I think the wheels of justice move very, very slowly, mm -hmm. especially if you're wealthy and connected. And what would you say the fact that every time Trump gets indicted, his polling increases? In a lot of cases, he's tied with Biden. In some polls, he's actually beating Biden. I think the American person thinks that it's political persecution. And Trump even said himself, he's one more indictment away of winning the election. Mm -hmm. What do you think about all that? It's a conundrum. I think the media has driven a big wedge between lots of Americans and people believe what they see on television now right. rather than what they know. And since it sounds like you're not a Trump supporter, should he win the election in 2024? What would that make you feel like? What would be the emotions that you'd be going through, you think? I think it would be pretty astonishing. Yeah? Yeah. Would you leave the country? Uh, no. This is my home. So you want to see the civil war? People who are. So you want to see the civil war happen? I don't think it's going to get that far. You don't think the left is going to go crazy? I'm a, li I'm a little more optimistic. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. As you probably heard, Trump's been arrested the third time this week, this time for his speech against the 2020 election. Mm -hmm. They believe that he was lying when he said it was rigged, that he secretly knew that it wasn't rigged. So what are your thoughts on everything that's going on with all these arrests? I think it's interesting that you can't vote with a felony or with certain charges, but you can run for office. So I just think that's really interesting and odd that you can commit such crimes against the American people, but still run for office. I just find that very odd. Even if he is in prison, he could still run for president. Yes. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> so technically he could win the presidency and then pardon himself and everything just kind of goes away. Correct. I think that wh whoever you are, Republican, Democrat, and you know, whoever, you have to be held accountable and nobody is rich enough or powerful enough to be above the law. So I think everybody should be held to the same standards. And I agree with you on that. Yeah. Now, do you find it suspicious that it seems like the Justice Departments have waited for an election year to throw all these charges on Trump instead of doing it closer to when they actually occurred? Yeah, I, th I definitely think who, whatever party is in office, it's like they're going to try to keep that power. So if a Democrat's in office, they're going to try to bring charges against a Republican candidate to keep them out of, you know, m you know, out of the spotlight or vice versa. So in the history of America, this has never happened before where president's been indicted. Trump is the first one. Mm -hmm. Does that make you like nervous for the, state, the future of this country, the democracy? I think I think there's a lot of bad on both sides. and. I don't know, I just think that everybody should be held to the same standards. Yeah. So I think you have to let the justice system and the process work itself out. But I think if 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 you commit a crime, you should be held responsible for it. Or it or an indictment and it might he might not be charged. An indictment isn't a charge. So And the last question is if the election were held today and it was Trump versus Biden, who would you vote for? Oh, neither, honestly. What third party would you vote for? Anybody that's running right now? Uh, that... I honestly I I would be open to voting either way, depending on who the candidate was, but I don't want Biden and I don't want Trump. So you're a true, like, independent right now, it sounds like. I'm very, I'm moderate. And yeah, that's I what it sounds like. You have to vote, I don't know, it, it depends who's running, because I could be persuaded to vote. It's probably Trump versus Biden. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I will honestly say I don't know. Well, the last thing I'll say is the polling data shows that Trump and Biden are tied, with some polls showing that Trump is actually winning. Wow. And the more he's indicted, the better, the better his polling has been getting. Right. So if Trump was to win in 2024, mm -hmm. how would that make you feel, even though it sounds like you're in between right now? I I mean, I'm a, I'm a mental health therapist, and... You're gonna have a lot of new clients. Yeah, I see a lot of how like the election has impacted people's mental health. It broke a lot of it, people's brains. It did, yeah. and so, like personally, I would just like to see a lot more unity and acceptance among Americans. And if you do vote for Trump, it's like it is what it is, and if you vote for Biden, it is what it is. Yeah. But I think if Trump won, as a woman and somebody that works with people who are seeking health care, mental health and physical health, I, I would just be worried more for women and like the autonomy over our bodies and like how that would impact our health care. And I work with a lot of women who have health issues or like wanting to get reproductive health care. So yep. that's my biggest concern if Trump got elected would be like women's women's health care. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was really fun hitting the streets again. 
in Hyde Park, Tampa. I wanted to show you guys a brand new t-shirt I just launched on the JoeBidenHate2.com website. This shirt is made to commemorate Trump's truth, social truth, where he said to everybody, if you come after me, I'm coming after you. So I took that and I put it on a t-shirt and I hope you guys buy to support the channel. It's less than 16 bucks. So go to JoeBidenHate2.com to buy the shirt.